Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I'll share with you how you can make a wiper card. It has a little mechanism that you have a little um, pop-up that comes in it. And this one's kind of revamped for fall. Wiper cards have been out there for a while, but this one showcases, um, again, maybe an updated look using some of the new designer paper from Stampin' Up! called Spice Cake. So let's get started making this card. To make our wiper card, we're going to need two pieces of four and a fourth by eight and a half pieces of cardstock. This is in more mustard. And um, for the wiper mechanism, we need a piece of one and a half by three um, inch cardstock, and this is in what's or in very vanilla. So our first thing that we want to do is we need to score our four and a quarter by eight and a half pieces of more mustard. And I've got my handy dandy stampin' or simply scored scoring tool. And we're going to score it at one and a half and three. And we're going to do that on both sheets of paper. So again, we're scoring at one and a half and three. And I already have those pre scored. I think sometimes these wiper cards can be a little tricky. So I've. Um, I've marked up my card stock here, so hopefully it helps us understand how to put it together. Okay, so I'm going to move my camera on just a second here. Okay, so for our card stock, then again, we're going to um, get it folded, and you would use your bone folder to make sure you have a nice crisp edge on it. And we're the um, this is going to be our card that we're going to put our wiper mechanism on. Okay, so from the original card, hopefully you can see that, um, we're going to adhere the wiper mechanism on this panel, the scored panel here. To make the wiper, this is again our one and a half by three, we're going to take the corner and we're going to fold it up so that it meets the other side. So you're going to have something that looks like this. And the adhesive will go on this triangle piece here. This wiper mechanism feels very odd when you put it down on your card. You're going to think this isn't going to work, but trust me, it is. And it's going to be placed on the second panel here, where I have it marked, you know, adhere it. <laughs> adhere it in this spot. Adhere it in this spot. So I'm going to go ahead and take my snail and I'm going to do this very, very lightly. You may want to go ahead and use Dotto. Dotto's uh, removable adhesive. Um, that way, you know, you can play around with it a little bit. Okay, so the adhesive, you're going to line it up so that the edge of your wiper is on this fold and then fold down. Okay, so it's going to look like this. And so when you open it up, it's going to have that this look. It's going to be flush off to the right. Okay, to make our and if you see this happen right here, see how this is um, a little overhang? I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors. And I'm going to trim that right now. And this is where Dotto would come in handy because you could take it back to your paper trimmer and have it nice and straight. Okay, and that's going to help it clear the clear the fold. And for and again, we had them both scored. Whoops, the same way. But for the wiper to make the wiper card, one's going to go one way and one's going to go the other way as far as where we have it scored. Okay, so it's going to. Be put together like this. Okay, so it's okay, so it's opposite fold. You know, I'm taking a little time explaining that, but it seems like that, it, for my mind, that's where I I had to just keep telling myself. So before you do any adhering on the side flaps, you just want to keep, you know, seeing if that's going to work right. And that one looks like it is. Okay, so now I'm ready to put some adhesive down going to cover this panel here, get my snail on it, and again I can't 
emphasize enough how that perhaps to start it out using Dotto would be really, really smart until you feel comfortable doing it. Okay, so that's down. I'm going to flip this over and again put this nail or adhesive on this panel. I'm just doing it lightly in case we need to rip it up here to show it. And lining up the edges on the other side. Okay. So now our little wiper mechanism gets hidden inside. So cute. And the more you play with it, the more it'll it'll work. And again, if you find that it's catching uh, a small little trim, will take care of it. Okay, so that's putting together the wiper. Okay, now we'll go ahead and we'll decorate it. What I did is I used the designer paper again, um, spice cake, and that's one of the pieces of the designer paper is cut at three and a quarter by five, and it's layered on chocolate chip at five and a quarter or five and a quarter by four. And we'll just lay that. We'll just get that adhered onto the front flap. Like so. And you could decorate all three panels, but for our sample here, we're just going to use this panel. And this piece is cut at three and a quarter by one, layered on chocolate chip at one and a quarter by um, four and a quarter. Whoops, let's see here. Four by one and a quarter. Goodness. And we'll get that layered on. And then for our little wiper piece up here, since this is one and a half square is what shows, I've got a little piece of designer paper cut at one and a quarter by one and a quarter. You can use whichever side that you'd like. Your designer paper. We'll put that on here. And I've got from Gently Falling the little acorn images. One's got the outline and one's the solid. The outline makes a really nice background, um, a background for your sentiment. The Happy Thanksgiving is from Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set. One of my all-time faves. And let's see here. Kind of get all of my punches lined up. So with the Happy Thanksgiving, take the large oval punch and punch that out. And that's going to get layered on one of the, the tag dies. And it layers perfectly onto it. So I've got that in chocolate chip. And we're going to put that right in the center. Okay, there's our sentiment that we'll we'll put on. And I'll be right back after I get another punch. Laughing at myself, you guys, my um I had card class last week and my craft room's always a disaster after after that because it never gets put back together quite as quickly as what I can tear it apart. <laughs> so so my punches were out of reach and all of that. Okay, so I punched out with a one inch circle punch the solid acorn image. And we'll put a little snail on it and put him on the top part of our wiper mechanism. And then to make the leaves, this is from leaves number two. It's a big shot die. And I'm using the, um, the oak leaf. And I went ahead and punched out four for the original card. I have three here, and I'll show you what I did. I just always like to have leaves have a little bit of texture with them. And so for something a little different other than an embossing folder, I dusted off my crimper. I hadn't used it for a while, and I ran my leaves through the crimper. And it just gives a nice little ripple effect for the leaves. So to finish off the card, what I did is I layered the leaves underneath the sentiment. Oops. Under the sentiment as well as 
um, having a fourth one and having it come slightly off the back of the wiper mechanism. Okay, so that's a little updated look for a wiper card. And for wiper cards, I found that the more you play with them, the more the you know the wiper moves freely. So maybe before you send this, go ahead and get it nice and, and broken in so that it moves really nice when the recipient um, receives it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.